So I saw some really great videos by other YouTubers where they'd managed to get their YouTube equipment onto a single stand and that made it a lot more compact because typically you need a tripod for your camera, you then need another extension maybe for a microphone and then you need something for the lights whereas I've now managed to condense everything down onto a single stand. If you've watched one stand videos before you'll probably have seen them use lighting tripods as their main structure. I've chosen to go with a normal camera tripod instead and I'm using a KNF tripod. I was sent a couple of these to review quite a while ago and they've lasted me ever since. I haven't needed to get any more. KNF tripods strike a good balance between affordability and quality and you can pick them up for about 80 90 dollars and one thing to make sure you get is a little camera head so this one allows me to tilt the camera around as i see fit to get it in the right position the camera i'm using to record this is a canon m50 and i've added the sigma 16 mm lens that is the expensive part the lens you could use a mobile so camera of your choice on top of the tripod i've then added a ring light behind the camera and what's nice about this ring light is it has different modes so there there it is powered off so you can see what i look like without light if i turn this on you can see that just fills me a bit more and i can change the lighting style as well so i tend to have it just on a white but you can have it on a soft white and more of a, a glow the ring light is really cool because it doesn't need to be plugged into a power outlet it can actually be powered via a power bank so that makes this entire setup very portable i can basically move this around camera's got batteries in i can use a power bank on the ring light and i can pop this down wherever i want to get the ring light behind the camera i've used a ubit magic arm it's an 11 inch arm that just clamps onto the tripod and that's allowed me to position it behind the camera or if i wanted to i could put it to one side or the other if i needed to fill in one side or the other with light on top of the camera is a deity d4 duo microphone so i'm just talking straight into that but again you could use any kind of microphone you want and it is mounted on top of the camera you could get a little extension arm maybe and, and put it a bit closer if you wanted it really close to you or you could use a lav mic or maybe even a road go mic if you wanted to be sat a little bit further away if you've caught me looking down in this direction that's because i'm just checking my phone I've got a really cool little tray and i've got a whiplab stand on it which is holding my mobile in place and that's where my notes are now you could use that just for general notes or if you combine it with something like big view which is an absolutely brilliant teleprompter app you could actually write out your entire script so that you're not having to ad lip and make it up on the spot you can just read it out and have the teleprompter next to the lens so that's it for the main one stand i've then in the background just used an led light to throw up a colored light onto the wall just to give me some separation from the background and i've also used a couple of other lights dotted around just to make sure that the background isn't flat and what you'll probably find is they're not always on in some videos simply because i forget to turn them on but i should put them on because i think it looks a lot better with them at minimum then i'd suggest you need the tripod ring light and the adapter and that comes to about 146 us dollars or 110 pounds camera and lens can come to around a thousand dollars a thousand pounds and then you're going to need some spare change if you want any lights or shelving i'll put a link to everything i use in the description below thanks for watching i'll see you on my next video
So the advantage of this sort of setup is it gives you a little bit more room. I have a small space to record in, compacting everything down so that my light and camera is all together and very transportable means that I can move around if I want to and have a little bit more room to work in. I'm going to put links to everything I talk about today in the description below so you've got the full parts list. If you watch other videos on this kind of topic, you'll probably have seen them use a light stand for their base, basically. If you've checked out one stand videos before, you'll probably note that they use a lighting stand as their main structure. I chose instead to use a tripod. I was sent a while ago k &F tripods, and I found them to be very good. They've lasted me a long time. They can carry a decent amount of weight, and they don't take up too much space. So that's the basics that I... The advantage of doing this is that I record in a small space so it gives me a little bit more room in which to work and it keeps everything nice and tidy. I can easily move this setup around if I want to record in different positions. So to start with, you'll... So if you've watched any other videos, you might have noticed that they tend to use lighting tripods, lighting stands, as their main base. Now I decided not to do that because then you have to add sandbags. Instead, I've used a tripod, just a normal camera tripod. I was sent quite a while ago a couple of K and F tripods and I find them to be really good. They've lasted me a long time, great quality. <clears throat> so, uh... 